All right, so I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty over the past month and a half, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the top five things I think should be added to Call of Duty World War II. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be skipping over any kind of hit detection, lag compensation, and glitches that we've all been experiencing with this game, and it's more towards things that I think should be added into this game or might have been lost year over year in Call of Duty. So right now, you know, different studios publish Call of Duty every year. It's always Activision publishing the game, but then different studios are creating it, a la Tri arc sledgehammer games infinity ward so i think sometimes things get lost year over year and there's some good features that each studio should continue using i know they try to switch things up but that doesn't always happen so let's get right into it so the first thing is adding a compass to the mini map so if you notice on the top left here they added in the competitive feature of showing in like where you are in the map if you're by the church it says that if you're by the big left large red barn building it says that in a more efficient manner whatever they do and this is really helpful, but I notice a lot of my friends, including myself, do not keep track of this. And I have no idea what the calls are on the map, unless it's really obvious, like the large cannon on this map. I really don't know what to say. And I end up just saying the enemies are coming from the left. The enemies are coming from the right. And depending on where you are on the map, where you spawn, that could be a different answer. And then it ends up to a lot of like frustration when you're playing Call of Duty. So I feel like that would help a lot of people and pretty easy to put into the game. Number two, I think they should do kill streaks per division. So originally you just had one set of kill streaks. That was it. Then in a couple games, I think Modern Warfare 3 started it. You could do different kind of kill streaks like support kill streaks um the assault kill streaks and then i think sometimes they in one of the call of duties they did it by class and i think a happy medium to that would be there's four different or five different classes in this game it'd be nice if you could have different kill streaks per class because a lot of times i don't want high kill streaks when i'm playing with my sniper the mountain division and when i'm playing with the airborne division i have the silencer and stuff like that i could definitely hit some high kill streaks and that would be a nice happy medium for all players where like you don't get to do it for every class just for five of them and i think that would make the most sense then number three i've been playing a lot of war with my buddies and I think there's an issue collecting points in most game types, but the issue in war is that you do not get points for moving the tank in war. And I know a lot of people are complaining about points you get for capturing domination points and doing all this stuff, playing the objective. And I think that just needs to be really reevaluated and points need to be added into the game for pushing the tank forward in war. Then we go on to number four. As I wrote this down, they had fixed this in the recent patch, I think recently. My original number four was show the items that you're receiving in the supply drops, like the grips. A lot of times you would just get a grip and it would just come up as brown. And now they did fix that. It actually does show the grip. But to follow up on number four, it would be better if they had a better system to equip this to your weapons. It's very sloppy and like messy. And there's so many things. There's not really great ways to filter. And it just takes way too long to attach a grip to my pistol. Then I just don't even do it. So if they're going to have it in the game, they might as well make it easy. And then the final one is that they should be giving giving out more incentive to prestige and at least give us supply drops or something beneficial when we prestige that makes it a little bit better than a plane flying over and they just tell you some nonsense stuff like you get to keep your stats you get to keep your kd blah 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 like all the obvious stuff they really try to fluff up prestige and they don't really give you anything for it and then for a bonus thing now that the video is over it'd be nice if they had theater mode so i could capture a good gun game like that in theater mode luckily i have an elgato game capture but if i didn't i would have lost that large victory in gun game to the call of duty server gods and would have been gone forever and most people who have awesome clips and all this stuff can't record it and can't do anything with it so it's a really big bummer it's a big bummer for the call of duty community content creators all that stuff because if you have really awesome gameplay across the map knife or a quad kill with the sniper if you weren't recording at that moment it's lost forever so it's a super bummer so anyways i hope some of those things would eventually get implemented into call of duty maybe the next game anything it would just be much appreciated if they took some community feedback and uh yeah so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm blitz five and peace out